So one thing that you might come across when buying used drums is a rim that's warped. Now it can be pretty hard to see if it's warped sometimes, especially if it's already on the drum. And this was off a snare that I bought used, and honestly I had no idea that it was warped until I took the head off. But if we put a head on the rim, you can see that it doesn't exactly fit. So all you need to unwarp it is a tape measure and one of these squeeze clamps. I got this one at a yard sale for $5, but if you don't have one, you can go to Harbor Freight and you can get one of these. They cost like $6 and they usually have a 20% off coupon. And a clamp is definitely worth the investment just for this, but trust me, you will find other uses for it. And the cool thing about these clamps is that you can reverse them. So instead of having them squeezed together, you can get them to push apart. So it's gotta take this top part off, slides right off, and then put it on the other end and have it facing the opposite way. So now, instead of squeezing together, it's gonna to push apart. So now with your tape measure, you're gonna go around and measure between each lug straight across and do that all the way around the drum. So here we have 14 and 11 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths, uh, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, and 5 eighths. So once you measure around the whole rim, you just wanna mark the smallest diameter so you don't forget. So from here to here was 14 and 9 sixteenths, so this was the smallest. So I'll take a little Sharpie and just mark it so I don't forget. So once you have it marked, you're gonna take your clamp, put it on the inside, and start to squeeze. So you'll notice that I barely squeezed it and it starts to spread apart. So once you see it start to move, you wanna get some more measurements. But before you measure again, you wanna take the clamp off because you'll notice it's gonna squeeze back. So it still needs to go a little bit more, so more clamping or spreading. What's the opposite of clamping? So after some finagling with the clamp, uh, the head sort of fits, it's still a little bit tight. You can see it kind of wants to pop out. But another thing you should check is how flat the rim is. So you want to check the rim on a flat surface. So if you have a granite you know, countertop or a glass table, that's a good surface to check it on. But I'm just checking it here on this table saw. And you'll notice that it rocks back and forth a little bit. So that means we need to bend it back so it's flat. So you can see that it's a little bit wobbly on this axis, so we're just gonna bend it a little bit. Now obviously you don't wanna do this part on a glass table or a granite countertop, but those are good surfaces to check because they're flat. So the head is still pretty tight on the rim, and you could get away with using this. Uh, I would suggest buying a new one, but this is the best that I could get it. And a good way to check you know, how round a rim is, is to put the head on and check along the rim and then the edge of the head. So you can see this gap is pretty even all along the head, and I could try to get it a little bit better, but at this point it's probably better just to leave it because if I did any more, I'd probably just make it worse. And now this technique does work and I have had better success with it in the past. This is the rim off of my 10 inch Tom that goes to my Yamaha kit, which is why the lugs are on it. And by the way, Yamaha, this is like the worst lug design ever. Just, just saying. I bought the Tom off eBay to add on to my kit and everything looks fine in the picture. Both of the rims were on the drum, but when I got the package, this hoop was off of the drum and seriously, it looked like an egg. It was really bad. So long story short, the guy ended up refunding me $10. I didn't know any better at the time, uh, but I did the exact same technique with this rim and you can see that the head fits right in. You can see it's not tight at all. It's still a little bit wobbly, but it's way better than it was before. So yeah, hopefully if your hoop is bent, it isn't as bad as this one. And even if it is, it's still worth a shot trying to fix it because even if you can't fix it, you're gonna have to buy a new one anyways. But if you do fix it, then you save a few bucks. So this is part of my drum restoration series. I have a whole playlist on other topics that I've covered 
Also, if there's any topics that you want me to cover, then feel free to leave me a comment. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.